Hi, how are you All going? right, everybody. Welcome to, uh, where are we? Glen Glenn, Glenn Rowan in Victoria, Glenn Australia. Glen Rowan. And uh, look at, are, are all the women as beautiful as you here in Glen Rowan? I'll go all red. Huh? get embarrassed. Oh, goodness gracious. So I was driving down the road. What's your name? My name's Pam. Pam. Yeah. Pam, I was driving down the road and I remembered a good friend of mine, Carlo. You want to give Carlo a shout out in Melbourne? Hi, Carlo. How do you, how do you pronounce it? Melbourne? Melbourne. Is Melbourne? That? Melbourne. We just had the Orn on the end. It's Melbourne. It's not like the Jason Bourne movie. No, it's right? Melbourne. Melbourne. Yeah, Melbourne. Melbourne. Okay, so Carlo in Melbourne was telling me about this guy named Ned Kelly. Yes. And I asked somebody up at the McDonald's just up the road. I said, who was Nick, Ned Kelly? He was a bad guy, wasn't he? And he kind of smiled and he said, well, he was a bad guy and he was a good guy. Yes, right? So why don't right. you do, just, if you can, and, and do you like not, do you like nuts? Nuts. Nuts. Yes. Yeah. So in a nutshell, the size of a pistachio. Yes, I know it. Okay. Yes. In a nutshell, the size okay. of... T t tell everybody out there on Tom TV, who was Ned Kelly? Okay. So Ned Kelly is, is an Australian bush ranger, and that's what we call the outlaws here in Australia, bush rangers. And um, he went around getting himself into mischief, stealing horses, doing a little bit of uh, highway robbery and things like that. He was born in 1854, and he, he was hung in Melbourne in 1880. Wow. So, yeah. Was he a good-looking guy? He was pretty good-looking. There's some yeah. pictures of him over there. Now, we was he kind of like a cowboy? Like yes, an a American? bit like a cowboy. He was a great horseman, and he had a lot of... He and all of his family were particularly exceptional horsemen uh -huh. and um, well-known for their abilities. But he used to steal a lot of horses in this region of northeastern Victoria okay. and um, a lot of saddles and different things and get himself into a little bit of trouble. The family were often on the wrong side of the law. I see. And um, so... I've been on the wrong side of the law well, a couple of times. I'm not going to say it? anything. <laughs> you know, so maybe I'm, a, maybe I'm an outlaw too. That's right. Maybe you're an outlaw okay. as well. <laughs> So anyway, uh, in his father came out as a convict from Ireland uh -huh. and uh, went to Tasmania, a big convict penal colony in the early part of Australia's settlement. Okay. And Ned and his family, after he got out from prison, moved to Victoria and he met his wife, Ellen. She was Ellen Quinn and they were married and had a number of children and Ned was one of those children, Ned and his brother, Dan. And Ned and Dan Kelly, were two of the members that formed uh -huh. the Kelly Gang, and the Kelly Gang consists of two other local boys from here. Was Joe one of them Burns was one of them Skip Park. Smith? No. No, Skip Smith wasn't in. No, in, no, no, not Skip Smith. No, okay. a, there was Steve, Steve Hart <laughs> and Joe Byrne, and um, uh -huh. the four boys all died in Glen Rowan on June 28th, and the a siege at Glen Rowan on June the 28th in 1880 and they, the other wow. three boys died but Ned was captured and later hung in wow. Melbourne. You know your history. Yeah, a bit of it. We tell are, it a few are you times like, a Are day. you like a long distant relative or <laughs> no, something? No, no. However, relatives certainly had contact with them. Yeah, All right. So. Now, is this your is this your shop? That yes, we find? it is. Yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the camera and we're gonna yeah. turn around and I'm gonna okay. show everybody your shop. Okay. okay? What's the name of your shop? It's called the Vintage Hall in Glen Rowan. The Vintage Hall. Hall. Hall and it's cafe kinda, and it's shop. Kind of like an antique shop and yes. a cafe. Yes. It's a it's a, an antique shop and a cafe and a souvenir shop here in Glen Rowan. How long have you been here? Uh, the, the hall was built in 1925, but yeah. we've been here for four years and we've restored the building. And wow. Do you have a Facebook page? Yes, we do. It's Vintage really? Hall Cafe. So everybody out there could go and like your That's Facebook correct. page? That's correct. All right, thank fantastic. You. Okay. All right, fantastic. let's look at her shop. Okay, okay we're thank gonna, you very let, much. We're, well, we're going to, don't go away anywhere. I just want to show everyone your shop okay. real quick. Okay, All right. that's fine. Is there something here in town I can see, like a big statue There's or a monument? There's a big Ned statue. That's right, down the other end of town. And I'll, wow. we'll be able to see that soon okay we'll go and i'll go take, okay, take a look at lovely. that all right so this would be her shop and look at this what a what a delightful little little place here just really really a nice nice gift shop you can stop on your way to melbourne and uh pick yourself up a, a nice souvenir of ned kelly and who knows what else you might find here you might find you know something else that uh catches your catches your fancy so i'm going to uh go and and see they've got all types of memorabilia about this guy apparently you know maybe he was like the jesse james of maybe he was like the jesse james of uh of australia and apparently i guess he uh i guess he 
wore uh, like armor or something like that. You see this? He wore like a, a mask or something when he was gonna go fight the, you know, fight the police. But really, wow, this is really, uh, really something else. And then over here, you see, you got all this stuff here about Ned Kelly. Look at that. You know, refrigerator magnet. You get yourself a refrigerator magnet. There's a wanted sign. Get yourself a coffee cup. Just too cool. Really, really a nice, uh, nice thing. I'm glad that Carlo told me to to stop and and take a look at this place. So I'm gonna go and mosey on down the street and see if I can't find the uh, the Ned Kelly the Ned Kelly monument. Here is their. Uh, their cafe. It's just another day here in small town, uh, small town Australia. You see, they've got a nice cafe with all the fixings. You can grab yourself a scone and all that type of stuff. It's called the Vintage, the Vintage Hall Cafe. If you find them on Facebook, give them a give them a shout out or a, or a big thumbs up. All right, let's go find the. Uh, we're gonna go and find the the monument, if, if that's what they call it, a monument or a statue or something like that. So, all right. So thank you, uh, thank you, Pam. I'm gonna go down as a, so that at the end of the street, I will find the uh, Big Ned the Big Ned statue. Okay. Is there anything along the way yeah, that I should the see? Yeah, the where the capture site and the old railway station and things. Like There's that. a capture site. Yeah. Or, Really? And it's just across the road, so you can have a look at all of that as well. That's right across the road. Yes. All right, thank you. You look great on camera, by the way. You really do. You look smashing on camera. All right. Thank you. I got to show you this. This is the front of the cafe, and uh, look, they've got the the Kelly gang up here. There's Joe Joe Byrne, Byrne, right there, and you can see they wore these uh, they wore these metal things to protect them and there's uh there's dan kelly which i would assume would probably be uh ned's brother you see and then here is uh here's ned there's ned kelly boy he looked like a badass didn't he look at that and then over here you've got steve hart so I don't know if that's the first bulletproof vest or not, but uh, anyway. So let's go and see if we can't uh, see some of the sights here of uh, of the famous Ned Kelly here in Glen Rowan. And this would be Main Street. And boy, we're, if there were ever a place for a walk and talk, Glen Rowan would have to be it. It's a small little town, and boy, they've really capitalized on the... Uh, They've capitalized on the whole Ned Kelly experience here, as well they should. Ned Kelly is a uh, a rather rather uh, popular popular character here in Australian history. I had never heard of him before, but here you can go into the Anna, animatronic museum and see a reenactment of Ned Kelly's last stand right there. And I gotta mind the uh, mind the traffic, and then before or after the reenactment, you can come over here to the Glen Rowan Bakehouse and get yourself something good to eat and a cup of coffee. No shortage of places to grab yourself a cup of coffee, or as you see here, even a cup of tea. You can get some Devonshire tea. Scones are baked daily. Homemade soup. That's something. So it is a small town. And it's a beautiful day. Just the perfect opportunity to stop from a drive across the southern part of Australia, at least from Sydney to Melbourne. 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 I have to learn how to pronounce that. Oh, goodness. And here is a old time scale. And I'm not I'm not gonna dare step on that. But uh look at that. See the there's your scale. 
Look at that. All types of stuff. And there's Kate's cottage. Must be, uh, I would imagine that must have been Ned Kelly's partner, wife, girlfriend. Something tells me he probably had more than one. One girlfriend. There's a nice picture of him right there. You can see. And there's the Mr. There's the Mr. Ned Kelly. And just up ahead, they actually have a, uh, just up ahead, oh, here's a, here's another gift shop that you can see. No shortage of things. Here, I don't need Google. My wife knows everything. Grumpy old man. You know who I should get that for. That's right. I'm not going to mention his name, but you all know who I should get that shirt for. The grumpy old man. And here is the, uh, here's the big statue. Look at this. There it is. Ned Kelly. There he is. That's something. All right. Quite a, quite a statue. Quite a tribute. Maybe a hundred years from now, they'll have a big statue of me on a unicycle somewhere wearing a Tom TV shirt. All right. So have a, uh, have a wonderful day. Hope you enjoyed this walk and talk.